Hi, this is Dr. Yogesh Bhoki. In this tutorial, I will give you step-by-step -step directions on how to use image trace in Adobe Illustrator. Tracing an image in Illustrator is one of the most needed skills for many graphic designers, fashion designers and also for illustrators. What is image trace? In Adobe Illustrator, tracing allows us to easily convert a raster image into a vector image. This means we could trace a photo or image in Illustrator to make it a vector. The conversion of raster image into the vector files is a common request nowadays. It is especially useful if you need to make illustrations out of raw photos. Illustrator's image trace is the tool that can help you to do that more and more. If you need to resize a photo to any dimensions, you can use image trace in Illustrator to turn your raster image into a vector and to resize it while preserving the quality. Why do you need to convert an image into a vector? Let's begin with how to trace a motif in Illustrator. Any bitmap image is composed of pixels. The more you zoom in on a bitmap image, the more you will notice its pixelation. The same problem may appear when you try to scale it. That is where vector images come into play. Once the image is converted into a vector, its shape will be used for high quality printing at any size. To get started with learning how to trace an image in Illustrator, I will use this motif rasterized image. Image with simple form and with the shape like this motif will transfer into the vector format. I will be using a JPG, but you can also use other raster image formats such as PNG, PMP, TIFF, TGA or GIF. Now we have the image open. As this is a raster image, if you try to change the size of the image, it can get blurry or pixelated. Then select the image and for open up the image trace window by going to window and image trace. The icons located across the top of the panel are shortcuts named according to popular workflows. You can choose one of the preset. Auto color creates a posterized image from photo or artwork. High color creates photorealistic artwork or high fidelity. Low color creates simplified photorealistic artwork. Grayscale traces the artwork to shades of grey. Black and white simplifies the image to black and white artwork. And outline simplifies the image to black outlines. You can also click the menu icon to save the current settings as a new preset or to delete or rename existing presets. You can specify the view of the traced object. A tracing object is made up of two components the original source image and the tracing result. Tracing result means the original artwork. The original source image and the tracing result means the vector artwork. You can choose to view the tracing result, source image, outlines and other options. You can click the eye icon to overlay the selected view over the source image. Mode Specify the color mode for the tracing result. The available options define basic color versus grayscale modes for your traced artwork. The following color settings appear based on the settings in the mode option. First one is color. Specifies the number of colors to use in a color tracing result. If you have selected document library as the palette, you can choose a swatch. Grades. Specifies the number of grades to use in a grayscale tracing result. And threshold. Specify the value for generating a black and white tracing result from the original image. Palette Specify the palette for generating a color or grayscale tracing from the original image. You can choose one of the following options. First is Automatic. Automatically switches between the limited palette and full tone for the tracing, depending on the input image. When you select automatic for your palette, you can adjust the color slider to alter vector simplicity and accuracy in the tracing. Limited Uses a small set of colors for the tracing palette. 
you can use the color slider to further reduce the color selected. Full tone uses the entire set of colors for the tracing palette. This option is the best for the tracing photos and creates photorealistic artwork. Document library uses an existing color group for the tracing palette. This option allows you to define the exact colors you want in your traced artwork. Now the next is advanced controls. Paths controls the distance between the traced shape and the original pixel shape. Lower values create a looser path fitting and higher values create a tighter path fitting. Corners specifies the emphasis on corners and the likeliness that a sharp bend will turn into a corner point. A higher value results in more corners. Noise specifies an area in pixels that is ignored while tracing. A higher value results in less noise. Method specifies a method for tracing. You can choose one of the following options. One is abuting. Abuting means to create cutout paths. The age of one path is exactly the same as the age of its neighboring path. And the second one is overlapping. Overlapping means to create a stacked paths. Fields creates field regions in the tracing result. Stroke specifies the maximum width of features in the original image that can be stroked. Snap curves to lines specifies if slightly curved lines are replaced with straight lines and if lines near to 0 to 90 degrees are snapped to absolute 0 or 90 degrees. Ignore white specifies if white fields areas are replaced with no fields. When you are satisfied with the result of a tracing, you can convert the tracing object to paths. To convert the tracing result to paths, do one of the following. First one is click expand in the control panel or the properties panel or to choose object image trace and click on expand. To ungroup the group paths, click ungroup in the properties panel or else you can choose object and then click on ungroup.